Well, at half-time here, it was announced the very, very sad news of the passing of Sir Bobby Charlton, England and Manchester United legend at the age of 86. A man whose goal-scoring records you broke for both club and country. What was your reaction, of course, to hearing that sad news? Yeah, obviously in shock. You, we come out at half-time and um, you see the news on Sir Bobby and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a shock, of course it is. And um, he's a great man, great person. Um, always a great help to me. Um, obviously during my time at Manchester United and um, so we're still, still obviously in shock. It's a um, sad day for football, um, but obviously for his family. I'd like to pass on my condolences to his family and um, I mean prayers. Um, but yeah, still a bit in shock. What kind of influence or guidance did he show you during your time at Manchester well, well, United? Well, he's a legend for Manchester United and, and England, obviously, in the World Cup in 66, Champions League in 68, scored many goals for both club and country. Um, absolute legend of the game. and. Um, so he's, as I say, he's, he's be sadly missed on a sad day, um, especially for Manchester United fans. You broke his goal-scoring record for club and country. Do you do you remember speaking to him after you broke his records? What he had to say for you, and what was it like? What did it mean to you to break his records? Yeah, of course, it was a huge honour um, to get the records. And um, Sir Bobby was actually in the dressing room at Stoke um, after I got the record for Manchester United, and um, he was always, you know, a nice person to speak to congratulated me and um, spent many time, had many conversations with him about different things and um, he's been a real help, so of course he's, it's, it's a sad day. What kind of presence was he around Old Trafford when you were there as a player? It's just so, so inspirational. I think um, it was, I was, I was devastated. I heard the news at half time as I was leaving the, and coming down the tunnel and um, it, got, it got mentioned to me and um, yeah, it was, a, it was a real blow, I think. Um, incredible incredible person you know he's an iconic figure in, in in football world football english football for sure manchester united he he, he epitomized manchester united and um such an iconic figure but such a caring man loved loved coming in the changing rooms after a game uh remember him strongly for that i've always win lose or draw he'd, he'd be there with his blazer and proud and support the players and care about the players and um cared about the club hugely and um, inspirational to, to have him around. He's um, so it's, it's 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 such a sad day, you know. I think it was surreal it, uh, and really emotional. It's half time just before we kicked off, and the stadium and the applause and the atmosphere and and the response to the news, and then obviously looking across and seeing Wayne and um, who both of us have played so many games and spent so so many memories with with Sir Bobby. It was. Um, it was it was a it was a strange moment, but it was it, in it was one that was very, very emotional, you know, and kind of took us away a little bit from from what was going on. But um, yeah, all my thoughts, prayers, and love certainly go out to Sir Bobby and and the Manchester United family at, at, at this time. Did he ever give you any advice or guidance during that time? Those many moments that you spent together that stand out to you? I was just always encouragement and um, support. Really, you felt that he cared so much, and um, he'd always come and speak to you and have a quiet word again regardless of the result and there's obviously some tough results that we've had or some tough defeats over the years but um he was always there to, to shake your hand and give you a pat and don't worry about it think about the next one and well done and um to him it was just you know what he did and and, and it was pretty normal for us as players having having him do that was for me certainly coming to the club was was incredibly and, and hugely inspirational and um never took that for granted any game i'd always Make sure when he was in the change room, I, I, I went and spoke to him because uh, it, was, it was it was respect out of anything else, and um, so it's such a, it's such a sad loss, such a sad day, and he'd be sorely missed. Sad day for everyone in football, but on the result, congratulations, Michael. Thank you very much. Cheers.